up guys today i'm going to show you how to customize your galaxy s23 ultra to make it look like this to this in just a few easy steps so let's get started now keep in mind that when i do this review it will or this tutorial it's just going to be for the inside of the phone the lock screen will be in a separate video so if you want to check that video out i'm going to link it down in the description so first thing you're going to do um the first thing i'm going to show you guys is how to change your wallpaper so for some of you this might be super simple um, and you probably already know how to do it, so just go to wallpaper and style, and then hit change wallpaper, and then, let's see, I'm gonna do, let me find the wallpaper that I want to use, and this is the wallpaper that I am going to use, and whenever you're done, you just, you know, hit done, and now your wallpaper is set, and what I usually do, um, is add some widgets to my home screen, so what you're gonna do is press and hold on the home screen, or kind of like pinch in with two fingers, so just pinch in. And then you're gonna hit widgets and then you're gonna scroll down you can add whichever ones you want from any application or app um i always add the google bar so you're just gonna hit down on the google arrow press and hold on it and then just add the widget and then i usually always have um there's a weather widget which is at the bottom so i have this clear one and now that that's done then you just press and hold again, press widgets. You can just add as many widgets as you want. Um, the one widget that I always add is a photo widget. Um, so I'm going to go pick the photos that I want and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have these four images that I use. And again, I'll leave links down to with for these down in the description or the pinned comment. And then you're going to put, put fit to widget. Or actually, no, fit to... Wait... Okay, so stretch to fit widget. Okay, so you're gonna do that. And then you can resize it however big you want. You can make it smaller if you want, but I always have it that size. You can move it down, which I usually have it up here. And then I also always add a battery percentage thing, so that's gonna be on top. And this is all like categorized by like alphabetical order, except for smart suggestions um, and recommended. So you're just gonna hit on battery, and then I always use this one, but you can also use this one with a little bit more detail, more visual, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna put that there. And now that, um, now that I have all my widgets that I want, I'm going to add my favorite apps. So you can grab, so I'm gonna do Duolingo, which looks kind of weird now. Um, Duolingo, calculator, WhatsApp. Probably put CapCut. Um, I'll put health. And then you can just tap on all of them, so you can select all of them, and then just bring them up and drop them. And now that that's done, if you want more than one page, like on your home screen, you just press this plus. So I always have three um, different like pa uh, pages that I do, and you can select which one you want as home. So you could do the middle one, you could do this one, whichever one you want. And yeah, so I'm going to finish customizing the rest of this home screen and I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, now that I'm done with oh, my applications, I'm going to go into, where are you doing go? And add this widget probably right here. Then I usually also have the device care widget down at the bottom. Then I might put one more app here. Then on this one, probably have a calendar widget. So tap to select an event. It's always try hard trying to figure out which one you want. Gmail, gallery, Buds do Pro Manager. This is something I usually have on here too. So if there's not enough room, so I'm gonna put it here. And then resize it. And also you can delete the home page just by pressing that trash can. Um, then I'm probably gonna put two more applications here. But sometimes I'll have like widgets. Um, 
throughout the apps like that and let me put this here just to kind of make it look more of a I guess you could say more like Android <laughs> looking I guess uh, let me put this here another thing you can do that's actually really easy is like when you press on one hit select and you can select as many apps as you want and then move them so in this case it didn't work but well it did but okay and that's how you customize your home screen um, however you want it on Galaxy S23 Ultra and the next, or any Samsung device, I'm just showing you on the S23 Ultra. And the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to customize your control panel to make it look the exact way that you want and the exact colors that you want. Okay, so how you're going to do that is similar to how you change wallpapers, I guess. Let me make it smaller. Just press and hold on any part of the wallpaper that doesn't have like any um, like widgets or anything and then press wallpaper and style go into color palette, turn that on and pick whichever color you want. It will be based off of your wallpaper and you can see a quick preview of what stuff's gonna look like. So I'm gonna hit apply. It does take a few seconds, but once it's done, now your like things in your, um, your, what would these be called? I'm not sure what these would be called, but in your quick settings, the little I guess shortcuts are like different colors and this also applies to uh to settings um wait not settings where am i going with this like the top will be like whatever color motorola's flexible hardware concept okay um and in the messages also yep <laughs> you can also see a difference so in um messages it will be the color of like whatever color palette you want and then your keyboard will have like a slight tint to it of whatever color you applied and if you want to take the color palette to the next level you're going to go back and tap on it and then apply palette to app icons and this is actually super cool not all apps as you can see support it but most of them do um so messaging camera photo youtube music um, most all apps do support this color feature um, and that's really nice so it gives your phone like that like classic like Android look I guess you could say and just you can pick whichever colors your apps are which I think that's really cool and the next thing that I'm going to show you how to customize is your keyboard Okay, so I'm sorry, I have no idea why the audio just sounded like that, um, so yeah, let's get back to the video. My folder is called One UI 6, but tap on Keys Cafe. I will leave a uh, link to where you can download this app down in the description if you press on that. And just wait for it to load. Okay, and just grant it everything that it needs, and then tap on Make Your Own Keyboard. If you want to do that, I can show you how to do that, and then Style Your Own Keyboard. You can pick an, any like different effects, which are super cool. And you can pick whichever colors you want, make your own colors. It's just super cool. All the customization options that you have for just the keyboard. And this is actually new for One UI 6. Um, you can pick on how your key or pick how your key like moves, like reacts to your touch. So I'm gonna have it as this, cause that's super cool. And then you can also do different sounds. So I'm gonna just be quiet so you guys can hear them. So yeah, that is all the different sounds. I usually have it on this one or this one. This one's kind of fun. So any of these, I usually have it on. Um, and then to style your own keyboard, um, I have a few different ones here. Um, so let's go um, create a new one. And you can hit edit. Actually, you can... 
pick which type of one you want to start out with. Virtually they're all the same, just a little bit different sizes. And you have the option to, let me see, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, I think you can add, let me see, okay, yes, yeah, so you can add different stuff to it, which makes your cute board really small, honestly. Um, but you can add like emojis to your um, keyboard. You can make things different sizes. So let's, yeah, <laughs> as you can see, like that's like really big and you would never ever use it like that. But it's just kind of fun that you can tinker around with whatever and make your phone the exact way that you want it. Honestly, this is pretty like not useful how you can do it this big, but it's kind of like, if you want to, at least you can do it. Um, so let's save this keyboard. So, so this keyboard is applied. And yeah, as you can see, it's just a complete mess. Like, hold on, let's see if I can type. Oh, I know. Oh, I keep just going to automatically do that. Oh. That was way too hard. Okay, so yeah, you can do that if you really want to, but I usually have this turned off. Um, but it is nice to be able to customize whatever keyboard you want. And also within Keys Cafe, there's like different like cool games you could play. Um, Let's see, English, start. So you can do, let's see. Oops. Ah. Oh. And as you can see, just the more you <laughs> go up, it'll just keep going. So there's like keys related things you can play. Yeah, RP. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of weird, but you can create custom stickers, which now with iOS 17, you can do by default. So let's use this. Dun, dun, dun. And there you have a, you can do like hashtag, hashtags. So whenever you search or not search, but type, uh, oh, what was it? I think the one was... Do this. Do this. Yeah. Which one was it? Oh. So, the laughing emoji. It, in theory, would pop up. Maybe not. Okay, yeah. So, it's kind of quirky, and this is still running on um, when UI 6's beta. So it'll probably get a lot better in the official release. So that is how you customize your Galaxy phone to the fullest extent. And if you want me to showcase any other customization things that you want to see, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see the lock screen customization, I will leave a link down in the description so you can watch that and also in the pinned comment. So if you could like this video, please consider subscribing for more Samsung content and I'll see you in the next one. See you then.